Hey, this is Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with me. So today is just going to be an energy read, a um, full Celtic cross for everybody for this week coming forward. The energy we need going through this next week. Let's see how that works. So this is the Relative Tarot by Carrie Paris. Another great box, nice magnetic clasp, good sturdy. This feels like really fine stationery would come in this box. So it's that kind of quality. And uh, it's this beautiful color around. It's got a nice little introduction on the back that talks about the tarot and, and why it's depicted the way it is. And uh, this artist questions for the cards. There are actually 82 cards here. So this Relative Tarot by Carrie Paris. This is a deck uh, that will instruct you how to determine your tarot blueprint and your personal birth card and annual card, shadow cards and karmic cards. And there are actually 82 cards in here instead of 78 and I'll, um, I'll show you you know how you can use them and I'll explain why why that is even so when we start with the booklet and um, it's a nice uh, large uh, beautifully sepia toned uh, kind of a booklet with all the pictures of the cards in there which is always really really helpful in here there are uh, the author tells you a little bit about her and her family and her personal inspirations for coming to this deck which are indeed very personal and uh, so a um what happened here it seemed like a friend um in the guidebook uh, the, her, her she was encouraged by a, a fellow seer um and i don't think she was a seer at the time and an, an intuitive friend suggested that she could communicate with the, her relatives for the past and she says she did that to interpret the images and the pictures of the faces of the loved ones represented in the deck so tons of personal intention uh, went in the creation of cards which i love and even a dear friend of hers uh, named the deck so but the the deal with inside here is that there's two sets of cards and i'll show you how that works it's got a nice little pull here to help you get the cards out but it comes with some extra cards in the pack which i've tucked away under the ribbon and i'll show you what that's about okay in just a minute so they're not they're kind of actually a thinnish weight of card but they've got a nice glossy finish and they've got a beautiful gold uh, gild on the edges and uh, the pictures are nice and they're kind of showcased in a picture frame kind of thing and uh, lots of rich color and it tells you under each of the cards how to use them and then if you're going to use them as she suggests for uh tarot personal tarot cards or birth cards it's got even numbers here and tells you how to use these numbers um for that uh, which is very interesting but i really think you need the guidebook to kind of get through that so what's going on here with the extra cards? So for uh, the Lover's card, which is um, the number six of the Major Arcana, it gives you three choices. I've got two of the choices here, and there's one choice that I picked here, and it's in this deck somewhere. <laughs> but uh, so this choice right here is two, um, two men. This choice right here is two women. And then the choice that I chose to leave in this deck is a man and a woman. And just because that's what I'm, I see is more true to kind of all the tarot cards. But I would choose these uh, interchangeably if, if uh, you know, it seemed like that was the right thing to do for that read at the time. So, so that's uh, two extra cards that you need there for the lover's card, the number six. Then for justice and strength, they've been numbered hyster historically uh, in each other's place uh, with various uh, tarot cards before a certain period and after a certain period. Uh, so number, and here you have three choices for justice and three choices for strength with just three extra cards period for the, the deck. I've got two of the choices here, justice and strength, and uh, uh, two of the choices uh, inside the deck. So it's four cards actually. So, and what happens is in some tarot decks historically, justice has been numbered as number eight, but in some tarot decks, it's been numbered as number 11. So it gives you that choice. You can either number them in the, the one full suit of, of the major arcana as justice is number eight and strength is number 11, or vice versa, which is what I've chosen to do. You can have them labeled as strength number eight and justice number 11. So that, and that way you end up with four extra cards uh, completely. Uh, in this situation. So that was kind of a long explanation, but it's always good to lay them out here no matter how you do. And you know, you can just leave all the cards in the deck and just divine whatever comes up at the time, I suppose. You know, what's wrong with that? As long as you understand what you're looking at and, and 
if you get two justices in a draw, uh, be willing to, you know, et cetera, be, or three lovers in one draw, be willing to decide how you're going to deal with that uh, as a rule of thumb before you start your readings, I would think is a useful thing to do. Maybe you can just do it off the cuff. But these are, like I said, the relative tarot. Pretty cool. Okay, so energy read for you today. Energy read for you today. We're going to see what sort of day you can look forward to, or maybe some explanations for the day you had. So we full Celtic cross. Let me do that again because I wasn't real happy with the way that spread came out. So six cards at first, and then another four at the end. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Full energy read for you today. Okay. The signifier card is justice. Okay, so some, some, it's some sort of equality of fairness is what rules uh, this reading today. That's the signifier, justice. The challenge to that is the Ace of Cups. This is a compassion, an emotion, so that, and it's a great big offer. So this this justice is challenged by uh, just such a huge offer of emotion, of compassion, of, of uh, uh, some passionate situation that uh, it's hard to find justice. The base of this reading then is the devil. Well, that makes sense then. So lesser intention, uh, really, um, this whole uh, situation is based on uh, doing something in the least um, thoughtful way, really. In the past of this reading, we have the Three of Swords, which is just heartbreak, and it makes perfect sense. This is funny. This guy's got a, a sword through his forehead. Uh, he's only on a sword. Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. Broken heart. And so, yeah, we came into this thing uh, with this uh, with this sort of a, a feeling. Anyway, just a rare, a lot of disappointment. In the sky of this reading uh, is the Two of Swords really having to make a choice. It's interesting that uh, we have swords again. So, yeah, I say this is Truth, Justice, Rules, law so when something is going wrong uh, you can only rely on the truth and whatever the rules or, or law is governing you so that's how you should go about um, making a decision about what's going to happen here okay the uh, final outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross for your energy read today is the three of cups which is compassion it's a it's a joined celebration it's a shared uh, appreciation of, of something uh, well done really and so uh, that's very interesting. We'll go over this again at the end of the reading. But let's see how the last four cards, um, what they do for us to sort of sort out uh, this, uh, this day. Uh, the self of this question, energy read for you today, is a Six of Cups. And Six of Cups is kind of remembering how things were in the past. Two of Cups are compassion, emotion, uh, reflection. And uh, so, yeah, so sort of uh, harking back to some simpler time. The um, uh, environment of that uh, of that self then is in the King of Swords. This is Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. This fellow is in complete uh, control of that. He's in complete possession of all of those issues. So he is certainly a very dominant king. And then the uh, hopes and the fears for this, with his Two of Wands, is really making a plan, just something to get us on to the next step. All right, really looking at uh, what kind of action we can take to move this forward, uh, not necessarily in the long term. And there are the Four Pentacles holding on to our worth. So yeah, it started out uh, a little judgmental. Uh, we have a great big uh, compassionate issue wanting to push us forward. Uh, we have to avoid or, or fight against this uh, lesser intention here. With the Three of Swords, it's a disappointment. With the Two of Swords, it's making a choice, of course, is what we just said. And then with this uh, Three of Cups, it's towards uh, some sort of a shared um, uh, emotional uh, celebration, even if it's a small one. Uh, Six of Cups, we're heartening back to how things were simpler with the King of Swords, really understanding that you're in complete control of what's going on here. The Two of Wands, you know, just takes a little plan to move you forward and with the Four of Pentacles, and then you hold on to what you've got and, uh, and then work yourself up to the next situation. So that's what I see for this reading. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.